Hello everyone, today I will be repairing this Aorus RTX 2070 Super, which has a faulty memory and error 43 in Windows. Before I start, if you'd like to send me a faulty GPU to repair, contact me on Discord, I will leave my username along with repair.wiki and uh, GPU repair subreddit in the description. Okay, let's begin. Assuming this card has uh, unknown history, how do you determine that the problem is memory? And how do you know which exact memory that is faulty? Well, one step at a time. Always start by examining the card visually for physical damage, such as broken off components, cracked PCB, etc. I have already done that and found no such stuff, so I will continue to the next step, which is resistance measurements. Starting with 12V bus, this card has a fuse, so make sure to check both sides of the fuse and also if the fuse is blown or not. Three point three. Twelve V E X T. Five volts. One point eight. Vmem. And PEX. Okay, there are no shorts on the card, so I will turn it on and measure the voltages. And as you can see, all voltages are present, so now I will plug the card in the motherboard and see if it outputs a picture. As you can see, it does output a picture, however, it is in low resolution and the driver is failing to load with error 43. This can either be caused by memory, BIOS, core, or straps. Easiest one to check is the memory, so I will boot into maths and show you how to do that. MV Tech Labs has a great video on maths which goes in details how to set it up. I will link it in the description for you to check it out. Now that I am in maths, I'll navigate to the directory where maths is by typing cd, then the folder's name, since the card does output a picture, I can just simply uh, type dot slash maths dash e, then the amount of memory to test in megabytes. I will start with 5 and go from there. You can add less to the end to show the report instantly on the screen after the test is finished. And here is the report. I'm getting a lot of errors on memory channel A, chip 1. You can ignore this, those small errors on all channels. This happens when I output a picture using the card instead of integrated graphics. I'll go ahead and replace that memory chip and see what happens. As you can see, no more error 43 and the card is now fully functional. I will run Firmark for a few more hours to make sure everything is working as it should. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.